<laughs> and, right, blind date. Unusual things to hear on an episode of Blind Date. Well, we've got a lot of contestants somewhere. <laughs> well, this question's for contestant number one. I like it up the bum. <laughs> Blind date is brought to you by your parents who want you out the house. <laughs> Transfers through paper, so I'm fine, really. <laughs> no, you're right, love. I've got it on my Kindle. <laughs> Could you direct me to the non friction section? to give someone on the day of their confirmation. <laughs> now, not to worry, Patrick. In about eight years, you'll have realised all of this is tosh. Timmy! 
So I brought the runic knife. Did you bring the sacrificial goat? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't serve the bread with chutney. <laughs> as somebody did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Light. Uh, pop up. Erotic bar. Pop up is an excellent choice. <laughs> <laughs> Unusual titles for a pop up book. Fifty <laughs> <laughs> shades of grey. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty amazing erections. <laughs> Ten things that could blind you. <laughs> Pop up guide to venereal infection. <laughs> Was that scratch and sniff as well? <laughs> Famous anuses. <laughs> no, that's one where you put your finger through the holes. <laughs> <laughs> War and Peace, the pop-up edition. <laughs> the pop-up guide to internet advertising. Yeah! It doesn't count if you have to ask, it's like I love you. Um, <laughs> uh, can I have one more number please? Seven. Phrases you can use to describe a bottle of vintage wine, but not your girlfriend. Ooh. I had a really posh party the other day, brought it out, everyone loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been keeping this one in the basement for the last 30 years. <laughs> 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 Spent a lot of money on it, tastes like vinegar. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't quite happy with the waiter opening up. <laughs> 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 